Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be doing some supply pulls for Judah. We're going to make absolutely sure before we even start that it is in fact up. Expansion... No, it's focused. Yes, focused. Oath of Judah. There it is. This is the first time actually reading the weapon skill and the like passive skill here. And I actually don't know why yet it's so impressive. There might be something to it later, but currently it just seems like a pretty normal weapon. It doesn't matter though, I'm gonna be going for it because everyone says it's like its own Valkyrie. That's kind of a, a sort of joke. Uh, so we're just starting with our focused tickets here. We have four of them, three left. Quick math, didn't get anything on that one. We're actually gonna do uh, like two tin pulls. Of course, we're gonna stop as soon as we get Oath of Judah, but we're gonna do like to start with two tin pulls because I kind of have a feeling I'm, I don't know, who knows, could get it this right now. We didn't, but we could have. We did get some gold though, gold's always, I, I don't know, I think I have like past trauma from being so low on gold that, because I kind of have enough right now that I think I'll be okay for a while. <laughs> But uh, gold is still good, regardless. I'm sure there will be a point where I need gold. So we have exhausted all of our focused cards, and now we're gonna... We're not focused. Focus is what we want, right? Alright, let's go ahead and do a tin pull. Let's go. I'll probably do like, I don't know, one or two tin pulls, and then I'll do some single summons, because I don't want my crystals to go away that fast, even though I'm really trying to get Judah. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. Whatever. Um... I mean, I have 21,000. I think I started with 21 or 22,000 crystals. So, I don't know. I, I would assume that might be enough. We got a stigmata here. Plank B. Was that the good one? I think I may have heard about Plank B. And I know I was going for a plank at one time, but I'm not sure if it's the B. I'll have to check that out. We got some... Uh, yeah, let's check that out real quick. Oh, yes. Oh my god, finally. This is the one. Uh, the, the, uh, the attack speed increase for my snowy sniper. I have not been using my snowy sniper for the longest time because I didn't have this. But now that I have this, hell yeah. Awesome. Plank B, super. Already satisfied with this pull. It's awesome. I would still like Oath of Judah, of course, but, uh, hey, I'm already happy. Let's go 10 more. And then, I don't know. Would be nice to get a few weapons, too, so, like, bad weapons, <laughs> hopefully. So, uh, besides Oath of Judah, uh, to get some Honkai Crystals. I'm one Honkai Crystal away from maxing out the Void Blade. I would like to upgrade the Oath of Judah if I happen to get that. That's not it, unfortunately. So, I mean, we'll get at least one something, whether it's a Stigmata or otherwise. It will be a Stigmata. Auto T. I actually didn't check those out. We're gonna have to look at him and uh, see what's going on. Yeah, our luck is pretty much like that, that we get one uh, guaranteed good thing per, per, per 10 summons. That's just how it's always been. Um, with Valkyries, we're a bit more lucky, I think. We get a few A ranks sometimes with 10 pulls, but uh, Focused is not, not very nice to me. Why is it always asking me if I want to lock it? Basic attacks, deal 20% more physical damage. Period. So, okay, that's kind of cool. Every basic attack grants one charging stack. When three charging stacks have been accumulated, the next charged attack deals 45% more damage. He seems pretty good in general, actually. I mean, it just says basic attacks here deal 20% more damage, and that's going to go up and up as you raise him. Yeah, he sounds pretty good. Tell me what you guys think about him in the comments below. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding something. But yeah, his set doesn't sound too bad either. Huh. Well, interesting. But yeah, let's continue on summoning for now. Um, okay, let's do one more tin pull, just because, you know, whatever, swag. And, uh, is Focus also like that, that you're guaranteed the thing after 100 pulls? I mean, I don't have 100 pulls worth of crystals anyway, but that would be interesting to know at least. We got nothing there, nothing, well, gold, you know, eh, it's, gold's always good. Okay, ooh, okay, we got M as well. And we'll have to check him out. We could have a two-piece set already. I don't know who that would be good for, to be honest. But like I said, it sounds pretty generally good. Uh, just, you know, basic attacks can be strong too. And combo and charge, it said as well. well let's check out this piece here. Uh, basic attacks, including combo and charge, weaken enemies for two seconds, decreasing their attack by 20%. Very short cooldown as well of only two seconds. Actually, 100% uptime as long as you're always hitting them. Uh, attack reduction. I'm not sure 
how useful attack reduction is. Well, there'd be one more of these dudes to grab. Let's go ahead and do one time until we get the uh, guaranteed natural four star because we spent those four tickets. So, you know, we should be getting it somewhat soon because we, we, we've only gotten one per tin pull so far. So yeah, shouldn't take too many crystals. Maybe that's the Oath of Judah. Maybe it's the other auto piece. We'll see. Nothing there. One time. We'll check the supply after this so we'll know uh, when our next one is there. Let's check it out. Okay, so in three pulls, I guess. Here's the first one. Come on. Do I really have to do all 10? I think this would be 40, around 40 pulls now. Because I've gotten two stigmata. And I got plank B. I have to remember that I got plank B, so I'm already kind of happy with the whole outcome here. Because I really wanted it last time, but I didn't have very many crystals at that point, and even though I tried, I wasn't able to get it. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I heard she isn't that great, but we'll have to check the skills. Usually I'm not really checking the skills until I actually have them. Oh, that doesn't sound bad. I mean, just straight up... Okay, well the other one's actually better because it increases basic and charged and combo, I think it was even, by 20%. Whatever, let's go ahead and do another 10 times because we're not going to get uh, something good before the 10th one anyway. Probably. Just how it is, it seems. Nothing, 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 nothing. And I guess this is the last one, which we get. Okay, no, there's one more, I guess. And here we go. High frequency cutter. I, that's probably a Honkai crystal at least. Damn, man, we're not kind of bad luck going on here. That actually doesn't sound too bad, but I mean, it is a katana, and I have Void Blade, so I'm probably just gonna use that anyway. But 25% chance on a crit to time lock for three seconds. Uh, cool down 10 seconds. And the weapon skill doesn't sound too bad either. Reducing their defense by 40%, uh, some lightning damage. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Honkai core? Whatever, we're gonna do another 10 times because at this point we're already kinda... We've already kinda committed to it, so if we don't get it then whatever. That's just... just the way it is. Yeah, and we're probably gonna go ahead and go through these 10 without getting anything either. This is like, what, 50 pulls now? And we've gotten 5... 5 good things? I just say good like as in, you know, natural 4 stigmata or natural 4 weapon. Yeah, damn. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes, there it is. Woo, Oath of Judah. All right, I'm done. That was the last pull anyway, so we don't have any like pity counter going on. Wow, awesome, sick. I don't even know why it's good, honestly. Everyone just says it's like the best weapon in the game, but uh, nah, there it is. Okay, took a little bit more crystals than I was hoping it would, but uh, who cares? We got it. Um, okay, now we're gonna spend the other 6k or, I don't know, maybe 5k on trying to get my 3 cell a little bit higher. Or getting the S rank, but I don't, I don't, I don't bet on getting the S rank, of course. Let's check, because I think we did some already. Oh no, I think we did that. Yeah, we got Scarlet Fusion. Let's go ahead and just do a tin pull here. And, uh... Yeah, see what we get. I'm actually more hoping to get, uh, yeah, Valkyrie Pledge. I want to get her up to at least S. Um, I know I could do the extra story, but that is so stamina draining. I've already spent like 10 stamina potions or so, plus the two refreshes I usually do. Uh, just trying to clear and get all the stars and get the stigmata for her and such. Uh, so, I don't know. Would be nice. I'll probably re refresh some more stamina if I don't happen to get any of her but we'll see let's see uh, so so far we just got some shards unfortunately it looks like my not so ooh here we go all right nice I mean I would take the S as well for sure uh, but it wouldn't really bother me not to get it to be honest so yeah I think we already pretty much have enough to get her to S rank but we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna save the rest of our crystals <laughs> we only have 700, so there's not much to save anyway. And I guess that'll be it. So whatever we get here, I shouldn't have done the tin pull actually, because I'm so low on crystals now. So if like, oh man, that was bad. Well, maybe we'll buy a couple. Like, you know, okay, well, it doesn't matter now. We're probably not going to get a Valkyrie till the last one here. So it's all good. We got some fragments and there's the Valk. Scarlet Fusion, nice. 
I, one, one of the two Valkyries I actually wouldn't mind getting fragments for. Uh, because I'm farming her currently along with Divine Prayer. Duh. Yeah, okay, so we got Scarlet Fusion on the last one there. So it wasn't super successful. Regardless, I believe we can get uh, Valkyrie Pledge to S rank, which is cool. We can give her the Oath of Judah. We can salvage the Silver Cleaver we got, but again, I kind of want to get Void Blade up to five star first and then maybe focus on the Oath of Judah. I'm for sure going to destroy this one because I have Oath of Judah now. I just don't know about the uh, the sword yet. I'll probably ask in Discord or something about that. Well, let's go ahead and at least enhance it to 35. And uh, also a few other things to enhance like the Plank B. Wanna definitely get that up as well. So I wasn't really expecting to get any good stigmata, so I kinda just uh, maxed out all these Theresa Origins stigmata. I'm, I'm not sure they look decent enough for her. Uh, I don't know if she needs a special stigmata set. Most likely she does, uh, but that's what she has for now. We also, oh yes, Plank B. Probably gonna, I wanna upgrade her actually immediately. Looks like we definitely have enough stuff to max it out. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, just for fun. Um, I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference increasing the attack speed more. Apparently after a certain point, it may even be lower than 20%. You have to get a lot more attack speed to make any difference as far as Branya is concerned. But apparently they're also going to be changing attack speed at one point. So, whatever. Gotta enhance it first. I am too lazy to try and save any gold since I have enough anyway. And, uh, when it's so easy, everything's just set there for you. You don't have to do any calculations, etc. You know, it's so much faster doing it like this. There's the 40. Let's go ahead and upgrade again. Four and the two stars. Let's enhance it. This is what I have them for. Upgrade it once more. Enhance it once more. And that should be max. Uh, only two crit. How sad. We've got 31 attack speed. Oh, and the, move and the movement speed gets further decreased. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to actually upgrade it, but I'm sure we do have more attack and defense and HP, etc., etc. so whatever. I guess it's worth it. We'll also have to refine that later. That's going to take some time, probably. Yeah, I'm probably not going to upgrade this one for now. I have to reread the set skill because this is kind of uh, complicated. Oh yeah, we also got her. I haven't really decided what to do with her yet, so that might actually be good for Snowy Sniper or such. Oh, excluding combo and charged attacks. Okay, I completely misread that. Oh my gosh, okay, so that would not be good for Snowy Sniper. Damn, I'm glad I read that before upgrading it further. So, um, I don't know, he doesn't sound all that good anymore. Just basic attacks, which I guess the Snowy Sniper doesn't even really have unless you just tap the attack button, but that like does nothing. So, huh, that's disappointing. All right, well then the whatever she's called would actually not be bad then, because Snowy Sniper is pretty much only doing charged attacks. Uh, that would just take the place of Nikola Tesla though. Then again, she's not always only hitting frozen enemies, so I don't know, maybe it, maybe the trade-off is there. Oh, okay, I'm not even allowed to make a mistake. I don't have any te Tesla turbines left. Oh no, does Void Blade need one? Please don't tell me Void Blade needs one. Well then, um, uh, none here, even though the chances of actually, ooh, okay, cool. The chances of actually getting them are pretty low, I've noticed. Oh my god, and that also needs a Tesla turbine. That's why my Honkai power core is so much high. What? Why does everything need those? Whatever, we're gonna go for the prayer room just because it's cheap for now. I don't have any Tesla turbines and the next one's definitely going to Void Blade anyway. Cause sadly I did salvage most of those event uh, four star weapons already. I think I'll just have to be patient. Don't really want to spend 70 crystals on uh, one of those Tesla turbines. But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it for today. Um, glad I did eventually get Oath of Judah. Uh, kind of sad I can't really upgrade it right now because I upgraded like one Stigmata and that <laughs> exhausted all of my resources. Make sure to tell me what you think about this video, Oath of Judah, and my pulls. Uh, you can also give me some tips about what the hell to do with those things I got, mainly the sword and this and these auto stigmatas. I don't know if either of them are really worth upgrading or not, or what their use case would be, which Valkyries should have them, etc, etc. So make sure to leave all that in the comments down below. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy would also be greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.